but first is the first part of your question why we went this route and why we cho chose to start that way versus with the product first approach mm -hmm. is that we figured that the biggest um, hump we'd have to get over the leap that brand customers would have to make literally I mean that's why we called the company leap is huh. to wrap their head around the idea of another company manifesting their brand and representing their brand their baby with consumers right mm -hmm. that that's what modern brands I think mm -hmm. all brands throughout history are most careful with they're most uh, creative and adamant and have the most ownership and accountability around is their brand promise to the consumer the thought of you know like you said licensing it or uh, distributing that through third parties has always been difficult so in wholesale retail uh, in the old days of you know uh, uh, Ralph Lauren first doing that for example you know his biggest gripe was they just aren't presenting my brand and the lifestyle and the ethos that we're selling, so to speak, in a compelling way, right? So um, we thought we should start with that. Let, let's, you know, they, they say in, in venture and lean startup approach, it's important to have the smallest, the tightest possible flywheel between product and engineering. And that, that in this case, I think it meant um, starting with what would it take to get brands to take that leap?